Hey, my name is Brian, and welcome to Inside in the Ditch. Today, we're going to take you behind the scenes on a cool project we recently tackled. A good friend of ours, Stacy David, reached out to us and asked us if we could build a few things for him. Some custom mounts and toolboxes. He was putting together a specialty wrecker for his television series, Stacy David's Gears. You can catch him on the Speed Channel. After meeting with Stacy and working out some preliminary details, doing some initial sketches and getting the dimensions, we went to work creating a custom-built steel tunnel box with aluminum doors, a custom light pylon, and some custom brackets that were going to be used to mount beer kegs that had been converted into fuel tanks. After designing these items with our rapid prototyping software, SolidWorks, our In the Ditch team got busy laser cutting, bending, forming, and welding these items. The final products speak for themselves. Take a look at this clip from Stacy David's Gears and see for yourself. Hey, we're back! and mounting vintage beer kegs on our project for fuel tanks. Now, we've got a nice strong bracket fabricated here. Now the question is, how do you mount a round surface to a flat surface? I got the solution right over there. All of this comes from a company called In The Ditch, and they specialize in custom toolboxes and all kinds of hardware and brackets that you can mount on your truck or in a trailer to help you organize cords or tools or whatever. Now, the one thing that caught my eye is this little bracket here that's made to hold a small garbage can. Now, since In The Ditch will make things to your specifications, we took the idea for this and had them make some special aluminum brackets to hold the kegs. Now all we have to do is bolt them on. Now, even with accurate measurements, there's still a lot of drilling and tweaking to fit something like this on a rig properly. So be prepared to take the time and do it right. The key to our kegs is to not only get them to sit in the pocket top to bottom and front to rear, but also to sit out away from the frame the right distance so they match the width of the rear fenders. Hey, we're back! And just about to fit this wild looking cargo box onto heavy metal. Now this comes from a place called In The Ditch Towing Products and they specialize in custom building boxes for trailers, trucks, fire engines, tow trucks, I mean, you name it. All you got to do is tell them what you want or send them a picture and they'll build it for you. For example, take a look at the box that they built for us. The body is made of thick steel, so it will handle a lot of abuse without bending or denting or warping. The welds and corners are rounded and smooth for a clean, finished look, and it's all primed and ready to be painted. Heavy-duty locks and hinges are used throughout to hold up to years of rough use, and the doors are aluminum to make them easier to open and to help keep weight off of the hinges. There's a lower box on each side for smaller parts and tools, and an upper box that runs all the way across to store longer things. A pocket was built underneath to clear the engine and the exhaust, and frame mounts were also added to bolt the box to the frame. Now since every emergency vehicle needs emergency lights, In The Ditch also constructed a custom pylon to mount the lights above the cab. And just like the rest of the box, it's built out of steel, and smoothed and primered so it's ready for paint. Now this is a cool box, and you can see how nicely it fits around the fenders and the tires. And that's typical for an in-the-ditch product, whether it's an off-the-shelf box or a custom-built piece like this. And if you think it looks good now, you wait till we get this all reassembled. Thanks for watching Inside In The Ditch. For more news, articles, or product information, look us up at intheditch.com. Until then, See you next time.